So what is uh, MLOps? Uh, MLOps uh, can, be think, can be thought as the intersection of uh, DevOps, machine learning, and data engineering. And its main goals are to shorten uh, the machine learning development uh, lifecycle uh, with the goal of ensuring high quality and reproducible models. Um, it has uh, many principles. Uh, you can see it as uh, ideas or, uh, for example, automation, versioning, uh, reproducibility. They're not uh, particular techniques, but like more uh, broader ideas that we have to take them like into practice somehow. Uh, how we take them into practice? Well, using uh, one or many of the many tools available. Uh, but today we are uh, focusing on one that stands out between uh, between many of them because it, it is open source. It's very beginner friendly. Uh, you will see soon, and it's it's really uh, it's really powerful. And it has very good capabilities. Um, okay, so this is just uh, uh, a guide you can check later if you want of uh, the MLOps stack. Uh, we will be talking about uh, MLflow that can that 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 covers uh, many of the the categories of the stack, but it's not fully, it doesn't fully cover like everything. Like for example, it doesn't cover uh, orchestration and we can do for example, orchestration with, with Airflow, uh, but MSO can be integrated very easily with, with orchestration uh, frameworks, uh, for example. But this is a, a good table to, 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 yeah, to compare the different frameworks and see uh, what MLflow covers. But, but basically, yeah, we can uh, track experiments, we can uh, manage small versions, we can um, uh, serve models. If, if, you want to, if you want to share the model uh, to, other, to other people, we can just somehow serve the model and, and uh, give them access to, to these trained models, let's say. So, so yeah, we can think uh, MLflow like a, a, a foundational piece uh, to tracking and managing the models that can be plugged to to a more larger stack. Is it? Um, MSO provides a, a very clean UI where every single uh, run or experiment is logged. And here we can see parameters, we can see metrics, we can compare different runs uh, and somehow start to organize the experiments that before were maybe in Jupyter notebooks and text files and uh, 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 an ambient where, an environment where there wasn't la like a clear uh, a framework or a way to do things, let's say. And he would start to like uh, doing things like in, in a very particular way. Um, yeah, this is what I, I was just saying, for example, instead of having manual text files, we just uh, use a, a, a dashboard to see and compare the experiments. Uh, we register the models into the server and we don't have to save a uh, pickle or uh, model files into uh, the repo or the or some storage uh, because MFL manages that. Um, well, uh, um, in terms of uh, result comparison, we, we have the, we can see the plots or the the performance and we can compare it very easily uh, and yeah we can we can track the the versions uh, very efficiently i would say uh, because it's, it provides a very organized uh, uh, framework uh, 